Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Deanne Paul. I'm from Laguna Beach, and actually we're Mission Hospital Laguna Beach now. I'm an echosonographer, and I'm going to be talking about echocardiography, and I'm going to be talking specifically about the echocardiogram and the role that it plays in your part as being patients or helping a patient, because it's part of the testing where we would find out if someone had a bicuspid aortic valve. And it pretty much could be the very first indication. If a doctor were to hear a murmur when they're listening to them, I would probably be the person they would come to or an echosonographer to check out what that abnormal heart sound is. And first thing that I wanted to explain is what is an echocardiogram. And an echocardiogram is a test utilizing ultrasound waves to produce images of the heart. So by a transducer, which I'll show you right here. This on this end here is my is the transducer, which I would pass over your chest. And we pretty basically go up and down. It's our movement with how we go up and down that it slices the planes where we can see the different areas of the heart. But my transducer produces the sound waves that'll send me back a picture. Me and the doctor actually, so they can see it. And I'm gonna, what does an echocardiogram show? An echocardiogram shows a couple of things. One of the big things that we first look at is it shows the physical structures of the heart, including the chambers and the valves. And this is a drawing showing that. So as a sonographer, we look at everything upside down. The ventricles are on the top and the atrium are on the bottom. And this, the triangle that you see like that, that's how my sector looks when we look at it. We focus up on the left ventricle that way because, of course, that's the muscular part and that's where we first would look at. And then we've got the atrium on the bottom. You can see in the middle we've got the valves. So you get, this is just kind of a, a rough copy of what we see. Now this is my actual image that I look at. It's in grayscale. The white is the muscle of your heart and the black is blood that is flowing through the heart. Again, if you can direct your eyes right to the middle, that's where the valves are. So that is where this is what we can see when we put that structure on. Like I've told many people, if we could get a view like this every single time, we'd get home early. So <laughs> not all people, you can have imaging problems depending on how a person is built and, and um, you know, if they were a smoker or anything like that. But that's where, as a sonographer, we have to take the time to get the very best pictures that we can. Whoops, went a little fast here. Another thing that the echocardiogram shows is blood flow. Now, with an a bicuspid aortic valve, that's also a big thing for us to see. The blood flow, the color, gives us a direction, and that's Doppler. So that tells us the direction that the blood flows. If looking at this, we've seen a turbulence, which it would be all the cells, the blood cells knocking against each other, we would know that there's a problem there. We also, it generally shows up red and blue if it's perfect laminar flow, which means it just flows smooth, and we know which direction that should be. So you've got the combination of the 2D and the Doppler, and so as you can see, this is how we gather our information. Now, I just wanted to tell you what we're looking for as an echosonographer, because we will probably be the first persons besides your doctor that you meet, okay, in this trip if we're trying to diagnose for bicuspid valve. So this is what we would generally, what we're looking for and what an echo can show. We're going to try to find the causes of an abnormal heart sound. We're going to measure the size of the heart chambers. We can also see fluid around the heart. The pumping capability of the left ventricle, this is what we're going to look at to see how well it's pumping. The structure and blood flow of the valves, so we'll, each valve we look at to make sure the blood's going across and opening well. And any type of abnormal blood flow, if you did happen to have a hole in your heart or anything like that, we would be able to see it through echo and with the blood flow that I put on the Doppler, we would be able to see it. 
and then any masses or clots within the heart chambers. So as you see, we can gather a lot of information from a heart echo, and so it's a really valuable tool. And myself, like I said, I always tell my patients, I get the fun part on this, I'm the picture taker, but in fact, the doctor's gonna see everything through my eyes, through our eyes as sonographers, because they don't scan the patients, we do. Except some places they do scan, but <laughs> I will take that back. Some, some of them do. But I take what, I, what I'm saying is, you know, it's real important that the sonographer takes that time. Now I'm gonna show you a sample of a patient's echocardiogram. This is, um, Arliss gave me permission. This is her husband's echocardiogram. And it is on a CD. We take digital pictures, so each one of these as I'm taking a picture, I'm just simply pressing down. What it does is it grabs a cardiac cycle. So a physician a, who is ever looking at this can take any one of these. And let me see one here. Can blow it up. And then if he wants to, he can keep looking at that over and over again. But this way, the doctor, he can just keep looking and seeing if there's anything. So you see how we can go up and back. And again, there's the Doppler that I'm putting on and the color and how it's flowing. The top where the red is, about midway, that's one view of the aortic valve and the aortic root. As you can see, the one in the middle, that's a close-up of his valve, and I'm moving across it kind of slow so we can keep looking at how the leaflets are coming together. That's what we're looking at there. Over here, we're put, now we're putting color on it. It's moving through all of my things. But this is all focusing on the aortic valve. So I just wanted to give you an idea of what... Um, what this looks like. This is the aortic flow. This is one of the flows that we get. When you, as a patient, ask for a copy of your echocardiogram, this is how it would come on a CD to you that you can play on any computer. So again, this is a sample. Another thing that I just want to tell you that is different and is, I'm sure here has been doing it, but it's exciting with our hospital and all the technology, all of this for, for you to put on a CD is so that you have it for your medical records at home. At our hospital, everything is now on packs and is electronic, so this will be on here forever. From here on out, we started that about a year and a half ago. And it can always be burnt on a CD. So this is, I'm just showing it for the purpose of um, how it could be portable for all of you.